Hi, I am Dr. Rahul Bugaviti, head and neck surgical oncologist. Apart from experiencing severe pain uh, with this uh, cancer in the mouth, the pain constantly increases. Pain which is not uh, persistent will be continuous throughout the day and it will be increasing in severity. Apart from this, there could be bleeding on and off from the ulcer on the tongue or in the buccal mucosa. Some of these patients will have reduced mouth opening. So when the cancer spreads posteriorly, then uh, it will affect the muscles which will open the jaw. So these patients will have a reduced mouth opening, they have difficulty in chewing the food. So these are some of the signs in which the patient related should be aware and then should consult a doctor. So whenever you notice such symptoms, uh, you consult a doctor. We generally examine the patient and when we find it is suspicious, we just do a biopsy to confirm the diagnosis. Biopsy is taking a small tissue from the edges of the ulcer or from the lung to confirm the tissue of the origin, whether it is cancerous or non-cancerous. Most of the times, uh, since the oral cavity is easily accessible, biopsy is done under local anesthesia as an office-based procedure. We just do local anesthesia around the ulcer and uh, remove 2-3 to three millimeters of tissue at the edge of the ulcer and then control the bleeding. Very rarely when the mouth opening is very less or the cancer is uh, the posterior part of the tongue which is not accessible then the patient may require uh, biopsy under general anesthesia which is done in the operation theatre. So this biopsy basically confirms whether it is cancerous or not cancerous and to stage the tumour we will be doing a scan, MRI scan or a CT scan. This will tell us the extent of the tumour, the depth of the tumour and there is any involvement of the neck. So once the diagnosis is done, when we come to the treatment part, uh, most common treatment for oral cancers is surgery. Initial stages, there are four stages in oral cancer. Stage 1 and 2, we call them as early stage cancers. Only single modality treatment is given in the form of uh, surgery. Very rarely radiation is used, I will discuss it later. And then uh, late stages, stage 3 and stage 4, we do multimodality treatment. That it will be a surgery and uh, followed by radiation or radiation and chemotherapy. So what we basically do in the surgery? In the surgery, we remove the cancerous part of the ulcer along with a margin of the normal tissues in three dimensions. So we call this as wide excision of the lesion. So we remove the tumor with the good margins of the surrounding tissue. At the same time, we'll address the neck. The oral cancer first spreads to the neck on the same side. So those lymph nodes have to be removed for staging, for staging purpose. And once this is done, some patients may require reconstruction. Early stage may not require reconstruction. And if it is likely advanced to restore the function, we need to do reconstruction in the same setting. So this will complete the surgical part. And uh, once the wound is all healed, four to six weeks after the surgery, and if the patient requires uh, radiation or radiation or chemotherapy, the treatment will be started after four to six weeks. So, few points about uh, reconstruction. So, everybody is scared. If a part of my tongue is removed, how can I speak? If part of my jawbone is removed, how can I eat food? How can I swallow? So, to restore the function, mainly the speech and swallowing, once the surgery is done, patients in advanced stage will require some sort of reconstruction. So there are multiple options available right now from free flaps to the local flaps which are done in the same setting. Two teams will be operating on the patient simultaneously. One team will be removing the cancer at the same time the second team will be doing the reconstruction. So with this we can restore the function, the patient switch, sw swallowing and appearance will be near normal so that the quality of the life of the patient is better. So the patient can go back to his routine, he need not modify his food intake, he can go back to the society, he can mingle with the people in the society, so that his appearance is not compromised, his function, mainly the speech and swallowing is not compromised. 
So this is in brief the treatment of oral cancer. So why choose us for treatment of oral cancer? So we have an expertise of 15 years treating only the oral cancers, thyroid cancers and throat cancers exclusively in this area and we have world class equipment and we work as a team and most of the decisions are taken by the tumor board where we sit with the radiation doctor, chemotherapy doctor to design the best possible treatment, appropriate treatment for the patient. Thank you.